This video is on lactic acid fermentation. It too begins with a molecule of glucose and this glucose molecule splits and forms two molecules of pyruvate. So these are intermediate molecules, pyruvate. And these chemical reactions produce one molecule of ATP here and one molecule of ATP here. And we'll put our money sign beside it so we know how important they are. And these reactions would not happen without the oxidizing power of NAD+, which gets turned into NADH. And the same thing happens down here, but I'm just going to draw it once. Now the goal in lactic acid fermentation is to make a lot of ATP, which means you have to split a lot of glucose, which means you need a steady supply of NAD+. And the only way the cell can manage that is to recycle the NADH back into NAD+. So it can be used again and again and again. And the only way to accomplish this recycling trick is to convert pyruvate into lactic acid, which is a toxic product produced in animal cells when they do not receive enough oxygen. For example, during periods of intense exercise. When exercising vigorously, your muscles cannot receive enough oxygen, so the cells switch over to lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid builds up. It makes your muscles a bit sore, but over the next few hours or day, the lactic acid is broken down in the body, and no harm is done. In the last video, you learned that NAD plus grabs an electron from glucose and becomes NADH. So the NAD plus is reduced while the glucose, since it lost an electron, is oxidized. Final review shows us that one molecule of glucose produces two molecules of ATP and two molecules of lactic acid. Notice no CO2 is produced in lactic acid fermentation. That's about it.